I'm sorry, are you addressing me? Because your authority is not recognized in Fort Kickass. Are not rubbers. Oh my god. Okay, y y yes, you can rub them, but just please don't hurt my family. We mean, we're not robbers. Oh. Ow! Ow! Ugh! Woo! Shrinky ding that! Krigger out! Hi, this is Harry from Number 5. This is Brian from The Main Stadium. This is Nate from Shit to the Sun. This is Jet from Shoot Lab. You're listening to Dr. Bob. Right on, and welcome to New Music Saturday with myself, Dr. Bones, and the lovely Forgotten B co-hosting and taking Mike's place tonight. Welcome back, B. Hi, it's really good to be back, thanks. So, we do apologize for the delay in the show. We had some uh, literally Skype issues <clears throat> on my end, and kind of ridiculous, and got really frustrating, so I gave up, and thankfully I have more than one laptop, because otherwise that would have been cancelled, and yada yada yada. Blah, 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 blah. So, but here we are. <clears throat> we're, we're, we're on. We're good. So we got a lot of good music tonight. Be like a lot. Some, a few old ones. And only reason <clears throat> some of these uh, songs are being played, uh, the old ones, not just because they're good songs in general, but just because a lot of stuff has been kind of coming up on my on my uh, Facebook feed of like uh, in the past. Like, remember this? Remember that? Remember this? Like, oh, so you know what? These bands are cool. So I'm going to play them anyway. So we're going to get to that in a little bit later. But uh, <clears throat> first up, we're going to start the show uh, right with some uh, some really good metal here. So here we go with Evil and Strange and Throne. Dig this. <laughs>
rock and fucking roll. Evil and Strange with Throne, man. That was awesome metal. I mean, I'm a huge Evil and Strange fan to begin with, but that song was just like metal and just rock and oh man, they just nailed it. Like it was like yeah, it was a, it was a real kick-ass track to start the <laughs> show. <laughs> just the way I like it, so it jumps straight into the track and it's just full of rocking energy from the beginning to the end i love the way they say eating breathing sleeping and playing music that is all they do oh yeah <laughs> but yeah no it's really good it's a great start to the show fantastic right on well next up um is actually before you the next song uh you saw the new tattoo i got right i posted on yeah, yeah yeah so it's 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 healed up which is good because surprisingly actually wasn't it what didn't get that itchy but uh, I tell you, it was it painful. Just really, because... be really weird, can't it? Sometimes. Well, yeah, but there's a couple times that like, I had to like I went to, it was sort of it was like oh I can, I can tap it but I can barely reach it to tap it so I'm trying to figure something else to some other place I can scratch my bike kind of get my mind elsewhere you know. Anyways, there's a couple spaces that it did hurt when I was getting done. I'm not gonna lie because kind of like the warriors my back and when I was getting it done. It was pretty much lying face down, so I had I had my head in like a, like a donut sort of thing. So like looking at the floor, so I was essentially swearing at the floor. <laughs> The thing is, when you can't when you can't actually see it being done, that's worse, isn't it? Because you, you know, even when they prepare you and you can kind of guess where they're going next, it's, it's still pretty awful. Yes, yes, and no, because like I, my my artist, uh, um, she uh, she's well, I didn't give them a plug because they're a great place. The the shop's called Neon Crab, and uh, <clears throat> her name is Megan Page, and she's uh, fantastic. Like <laughs> really, I know she's done a bunch of stuff for me, but she's a fantastic artist. She has some of the straightest lines I've ever seen in my life, which is a good thing. You want an artist to be able to do that, and especially for the Celtic stuff to get done. She was recommended to me because I posted on, on their Facebook page, and and they recommended me. And this this is number four that she's done for me. And it's well, not, she is good, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, but I mean that's great, isn't it? Once you've you know if you want. You need somebody that's versatile and somebody who's got, you know, who can get what you want. There's nothing well, worse right. unless they don't really understand what it is you're trying to achieve. And it's not done yet. She, she still needs to color in. So she said, "We'll do this now. We'll do it two because it took two and a half hours for just for the outline and some of the some of the tips where she she colored in black. So that's gonna be it's gonna be like a dark red. So <clears throat> the twenty third is when I go back in to get get that. She goes, "Oh, book it for two hours." It's like, oh, two hours, hooray! <laughs> you, know, you, you know, because like. I, Day. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I'm I'm done my midnight shift, so <clears throat> it's not the worst thing in the world because I'll probably be pretty tired, so I won't be feeling as much. And admittedly, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> for one of my four tattoos, when I went, I was pretty tired, even because it was right around noon t- noon time. So I got I got off at eight o'clock, got home, took the dogs out, then tried to sleep for a little bit, sort of thing, and then went over. And at <clears throat> my old place was just just up the street, and right now now it's like 15 minute drive, not a big deal. So I go in. I was half asleep, and I'll be I'll be honest with you. There, there was at one point I actually almost fell asleep while she was tattooing me. Oh my word! Wow. So it, it shows you I can pretty much fall asleep anywhere, <laughs> pretty much <laughs> for pretty much anything, right? So, but yeah, the twenty third of this month, uh, it'll be filled in. It's gonna be filled in with a red, and I can't wait because I think it's gonna look so much better. So it's just gonna pop out. But yeah, there there's one of my weekly pugs, Neon Crab, Megan Page. Contact her. Go to that tattoo shop. They got some great artists. And there's a uh, Shar and uh, <coughs> uh, I can't remember the name. Was anyway, either way, check them out. They are gr- they're great people and uh, great artists and uh, a very a very cool shop. So enough of that uh, side rant. Kind of sort of something to do with music, but you know. So the next one up is a brand new one by Baltimore. This one's called Easy Way Out. Dig this.
right on. That was Baltimore with Easy Way Out. And another good tune. I mean, these guys were really cool and introduced to uh, NMS uh, by Recite the Plan. And I'm glad he did. And uh, they hooked us up with some really good music. And it really is. I mean, I love that it. it's always kind of kind of grunge, dirty rock. and just a whole good melange of different genres mixed into one. And they just kick ass. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's some great guitar riffs in there, and the drums were really powerful. I loved the kind of unusual rhythm sort of changes and stuff, but it was a really well-crafted um, sort of track, and the, the vocal performance really polished. So, yeah, that, that was, you know, really digging that. It was cool. Right on. So next up, we have... Uh, older, to not too old, but... Uh, by one of NMS's favorite uh, artists, Ill Advised. This one's from his album, his newest album, Masochist. This one's called uh, Faithless Selector. <laughs> <laughs> 